Hey and welcome back. Um, this video is going to be about the telemetry and the telemetry module and how to um, uh, get it to work with the DX6 and um, put it in the uh, uh, Sport Cub aircraft. To begin with, I'm going to show you what comes uh, when you order a, uh, a uh, telemetry module. Uh, comes in a bag. Um, bag is not very important, throw that away. Um, so, telemetry module looks like that. You can read what it says there. Um, TM1000. Full range telemetry module. That's what it looks like. So let's see what's in the box. The, uh, now I'll tell you that I have I own quite a few of these right now. I put them in most of not I won't say most, but many of my airplanes. It'll soon be most. It will definitely be all. Uh, I want all of my aircraft to have one of these telemetry modules because if it just saves one airplane from a crash due to a battery problem it's worth the entire cost of all of them. So in the bottom comes a uh, small little box with nothing in it um, <clears throat> and you've got a uh, nice little card on the back that explains what it does and its uh, specifications that's probably worth keeping you get a, uh, a user's guide, which I suggest you read carefully. There's a lot of nice things in that. I've read it carefully, and uh, it's important to understand what it says. DSM user guide comes with all this just to explain what DSM is about. And you get another bigger box that uh, uh, has a little bag of goodies in it. Other than that, it's empty. And uh, so the bag, of, so let, let me explain the module. Okay, I'll start with the module first and then we'll explain what's in the goodie bag. So um, it, it's not necessarily that simple to get this thing out, but it will pull out nicely. Be careful when you pull out the um, uh, wire, the antenna. It will pull out easily if you just tug on it gently. And out it comes. Uh, since this is going in an airplane right away, I'm going to throw away this box. Okay, so the telemetry module <clears throat> looks like this. Okay, and you can see the three ports on the bottom and what their labels are. They are labeled RPM, temperature voltage. So you got one that says uh, RPM, one that says temperature voltage, and one that says data. So the data port is what connects the telemetry module to the um, um, receiver that's in the uh, aircraft. A uh, short little wire about that long, you'll see it in a minute. Uh, so you, they have to be relatively close together. Temperature and voltage is what uh, uh, I use the most, obviously. Um, is the importance of this is to measure the voltage of the battery, no matter what kind of battery is in the, in the um, aircraft here it's important to know the battery and its voltage. You can measure the RPM. I have an RPM sensor. Haven't seen much of a use for it. Um, if the airplane is flying normally it RPM is pretty good. Um, I do have a RPM sensor that I test on the ground um, uh, if I want to know what the full RPM is or half throttle RPM and so forth. I'll do that on the ground. Uh, I don't need instantaneous um, um, RPM system. <clears throat> so, what comes in the goodie bag? Okay, goodie bag contains uh, goodie bag is harder to get into than I thought it would be. There it is. Okay. Um, so, goodie bag first off comes with um, this little wire here. This is the uh, data wire that connects the TM1000 telemetry module to your receiver. So that goes in the uh, data port of the telemetry module. 
This goes in the bind data port of the uh, receiver. And so that's all the little wire you got. So they're going to be that close to one another. Next comes a bundle of wires. And uh, let me unbundle these. And I'll show you what the wires do. <clears throat> okay. Um, so this wire is for um, measuring voltage with. Um, and so this goes in the voltage um, uh, connector on the bottom of the of the TM1000, which is the middle connector, and then this you connect into the battery. Now um, that requires a bit of soldering, so I have a better solution than that. So I'll explain that in a minute. But that's uh, um, uh, if you have a um, if you want to go a, a, a cheaper route, uh, you can do your own soldering and connect this uh, directly in with the battery uh, of your choice. Um, the other wire that came with it is the uh, temperature sensor and uh, you can wrap this around the battery and see if your battery is getting hot. Uh, it can do that. Uh, I don't bother because um, if the battery is getting hot, uh, you, there's something wrong with uh, what you're flying. Um, um, you should find that out on the ground and not in the air, uh, basically. Um, I do full testing of batteries from time to time on the ground uh, in an airplane and uh, measure the temperature with a temperature probe. And uh, But this will measure the temperature of a battery if you want it to. Uh, the problem with it is this is the sensor and it, and it has to have a really tight connection to it. Uh, to whatever it's trying to sense, so I don't uh, use that too much. Um, this is a Y splitter uh, because that middle uh, connector is for both temperature and uh, volts. Um, if you're going to measure both temperature and volts and you use this and you connect one to temperature, one to volts, then it works just fine. Uh, if, if, you're not just, if you're just measuring uh, voltage and you don't need the Y connector, but it's handy to have. Okay, so that's what comes with the um, module itself, and uh, I'll be back in a second to explain uh, uh, what else you might want to buy when you buy one of these to uh, connect it up. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back, and um, one other little thing that comes with it in the goodie bag I forgot to mention is this little pointer thing. Um, it's what... Um, um, allows you to bind uh, all this stuff together. If you notice right here it says the word bind on the, right here on the side and right there is a little button and you have to uh, that button has to be depressed with this little pointer thing and you hold that in while you're um, binding the uh, receiver and the telemetry module that are hooked together um, reason for that is this connects to the bind port and so you, you can't put a bind um, connector into the bind port when this is there so they had to come up with a way to you know put it in bind mode well this is their solution push that in um, it's a little clumsy to do and I'll show you how an easy way to make it happen um, so stay tuned for that in a minute and the other thing you might want to have if you don't want to do your own soldering and wire this to an EC3 um, connector uh, to connect to the battery, you can buy one. So this little um, uh, connector, EC3 to EC3, already has with it the uh, telemetry wire for measuring the voltage on an EC3 battery pack. It's called the Air Telemetry Flight Pack Voltage Sensor for EC3. And uh, they're nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. So for twenty dollars, you can buy these and don't have to solder them. Uh, soldering EC3s are um, not difficult, but it's not easy. Uh, I've soldered several of them, and have decided uh, uh, sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not a very good solder, but I can hold. I got a good soldering iron. I can solder stuff, but um, 
Uh, so I usually buy these just to save myself from trying to solder an EC3 and ruin a, uh, an EC3 connector. It costs three, bo three bucks. Um, so these are well soldered together. I like them and I do recommend them uh, for $20. Alright, so I'll be back in just a minute and show you how uh, we get all this together.